Good morning, folks. Let's begin with the final update to yesterday's flare and CME. The radiation storm at Earth is over now and all satellites appear to indicate that the CME should not be a major space weather concern. A glancing blow at the most, NASA doesn't even show that much on theirs. A straight up miss. At this time, the sunspot remains feisty, but without large flares or CMEs, he has officially departed now from the Earth-facing disk. Let's come over to spaceweathernews.com and check in on the last 24 hours of our star. Plasma filament eruption threats still stable and turning with the large coronal holes behind them there. And to the left at the limb, a lone solar tornado dances in amidst bright umbral magnetic fields. Those bright fields belong to the sunspots connecting positive to negative umbras. Only the south appears to have potential for complexity with beta class magnetism and delta candidates in the center if it continues to grow. Solar flaring still appears to be recovering from the long duration M2 we showed yesterday and at the beginning of today. Geomagnetic storms are disappearing as the coronal hole stream impact is late and the stream of the solar wind now stays steady. We do expect a stream from those dark openings to impact Earth soon, likely triggering more geomagnetic storm conditions. Thus far, it's just been rare location rumbles back here at Earth. This region actually took a moderate OLR anomaly in our last update two nights ago. We've got two top stories for you today. First comes from NASA. Well, there have been two prevailing thoughts about the quantum level of the universe. Mainstream says it's like quantum foam-like particles that blink in and out of existence at Planck size and time scales, and involving the six other dimensions required for their math. The other idea is electrical, and deals with the mysterious nature of vacuum energy. Turns out that the foam hypothesis is struggling at the first hurdle. I suggest you watch our video on vacuum energy here on YouTube. It is linked for you down below on this page. The other story is that nearly all modelers are now predicting an end to El Nino in the coming months. I went ahead and also just pulled the Pacific Oscillation over at Woodford Trees so we can see the 1998 event. Things like the dip ushering in the major cold of 2013 and 2014, the current El Nino, and what's likely coming next. This was the primary discussion point when David from Adapt 2030 channel came online for our Fly on the Wall episode yesterday. The future of Earth's climate was a good discussion, and we also updated the latest information about the future of HARP. Just the facts, no BS. About three weeks left, folks. Students, seniors, military discounts available, the frontier of all our favorite topics and more with special guests and the Mobile Observatory. Observing the frontier. Got pressure and future radar for our top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.